Staff outbreak at Eastland ISD affecting the district's boys' athletic department. We first brought you this alert on Wednesday here in Abilene, though. There are measures being taken at schools to prevent any similar outbreaks. KRBC's Catherine Garcia has our top story. A staff outbreak can be found in a locker room, but can be easily treated. The one that typically causes uh, cellulitis, uh, and it's usually sensitive to multiple antibiotics, and it's usually very easy to fix. It occurs in the settings where there's scrapes or cuts, uh, which could happen in an athletic department. Another type of the infection can be more severe. Drug-resistant form of staff called MRSA, or methicillin-resistant staff. It is very invasive. It does not require a cut or a scrape. And at its worst, can be lethal, according to Jackson. A cellulitis can turn into sepsis, which is the infection spilling over into the bloodstream. Abilene ISD constantly sterilizing its athletic facilities to prevent any outbreaks. We disinfect uh, daily, uh, especially if we know it's in a certain locker room. We'll take care of any kind of germ or virus that uh, has any kind of, can live outside the body. Uh, that includes influenza, uh, hepatitis, or if you have a skin disease of some type, uh, athlete's yeah. foot, those kind of things, it will, it will kill off those viruses as well. This little machine working its magic throughout the school year. We run it every day at the high schools. We also use this machine during the flu season, so when the flu season starts, it backs off a little bit, but we run it every day in the field house, the gym locker rooms, any place where Students changing clothes. Preventative steps can even be taken by athletes themselves. Well, the main thing is to keep keep your skin clean, and that means frequent showering or bathing. If staff is passed on, Jackson says the infection can initially be treated with antibiotics. In Abilene, Catherine Garcia, KRBC, Abilene's local news. Catherine, thank you. The Eastland School District saying they are taking necessary steps to prevent any further spread of the infection, and they have not yet made a comment about the number of staff cases there. Getting